Tonight on Full Circle, we will be focusing on what? Entertainment. I have the one and only. <laughs> <laughs> I always do that with my guests. I have this evening Eric, mm -hmm. and he's an artist, and I want to welcome you. Thank you. Welcome, welcome, welcome. Thank you. Thank you. That's the famous uh, queen. That's how, I, that's how I welcome my, my guests, okay. as well as my viewers. Welcome, welcome, welcome to all my viewers as well. Okay. How are you this evening? I'm fine. I'm fine. Glad to be here. Okay, all right. Mm -hmm. you, you're looking mighty handsome over there. Thank you. Thank mm -hmm. you. Nice I, looking I, I too. Can, <laughs> I, I, can ch I can check you out on, on the on the stage singing, you okay. know, you, you you remind me of one of those uh, Brian McKnight. And okay. Look, he like okay, <laughs> okay. <laughs> All right. okay. Yeah. So so let's talk a little bit about um, who you are, and of course we know you sing, but let's talk mm -hmm. a little bit about your music as well. Um, like I said, I'm a R&B singer. Mm -hmm. Been singing since the age of nine. I've uh, been in and out of talent shows, and uh, right now my music is starting to really go to the another level, mm -hmm. a level of people are starting to really hear me and I'm, I'm you know, I'm on a bark of writing my own music okay. and uh, just, you know, doing me with How my long music. have you been writing? I just started writing like about a month ago. Really? Just a month ago. <laughs> I can tell you about that. I mean, <laughs> just a month ago, really. Mm -hmm. um, a friend of mine a friend of mine, you know, she was like, you should do something with your music, Eric. You should do something. She said, well, I'm going to take you to this guy. And I, she took me to him. He, had, he happened to be a producer. And I sung for him. He liked it. So he wrote a song for me. So he didn't finish the song. So I finished it. And then the door opened from there, and I just kept writing and writing and writing and writing. And I recorded uh, two of them so far. Wow. Yeah. So you've been singing since nine and just started writing? Just start writing. Normally, when you hear somebody say they've been singing that long, they've been <laughs> writing just about that long. Nah, I guess. Uh, that's good. Yeah, I guess God opened doors in, in, at his time. Because mm -hmm. so, that's the only way I'm able to do it. Mm -hmm. So up until this point, you say you just really been doing like different talent shows. Yeah, I've been doing some. Uh, lately, I've been, I just got in the studio. That was like mm -hmm. a, a big high for me because I never recorded. Mm -hmm. Before and it was something I've dreamed. It was one of the dreams I had, mm -hmm. uh, on top of a bunch of more. But the dream of recording my music and then my songs and I'm not saying nobody else's was a big milestone. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So, so basically, the last month or two or so, you just really start really taking your music more serious, or yeah. I mean, I, people are starting to say, you know, you have something, mm -hmm. and they believe in me. And it's encouraging me to just keep doing it and doing it. And I stayed in the house a lot of nice days, writing, didn't come outside. It was mm -hmm. just in the house. And that's what artists do. They write and write and write. Mm -hmm. yeah. yeah, that's what they do. Mm -hmm. so, so tell me about the two songs that you have written. Well, one song is called When I Look at You. And I, that, my grandmother inspired me with that one because she died three years ago. And when I think, when I look at her, you know, I saw a lot of different things, and now that she's gone, you know, I thank her for this song because when I wrote it, I had her in mind, and then I tacked on a relationship to it that I was mm -hmm. in and combined it together. Oh, okay. Mm -hmm. And that's the one that, that the producer now, this this guy, he's actually working with you um, for the near future as well, right? Well, actually, uh, we had to kind of part ways. And one reason is because, I mean, it was some things he just couldn't do. And I'm like, you know, I need this, I need that. So he decided to part ways. But we're still friends. Mm -hmm. But I'm going to keep going. And a lot of things been happening after that, you know, after he parted ways. Because mm -hmm. I went on a, to write three other songs. And somebody else is picking me up, you know, that wants mm, to work wow. with me. that's a blessing. That's big, a big blessing. blessing. <laughs> Big. Yeah, that's a, so yeah. I I know, um, and and we'll actually get back to that. But I know you came on full circle today, and you wasn't expecting to uh, sing today, <laughs> right? But you know, as an artist, <laughs> when you are asked to do certain things, mm -hmm. you got to be ready okay. at all times. So. so so let me ask you: uh, prior to you starting to write your own music, what when you went and you performed at uh, different events? Mm -hmm. What type of songs did you sing? 
<laughs> I sung, Go ahead and tell me, Brian McKnight. No. <laughs> I, I sung a couple of genuine songs. Uh, I did one Brian McKnight song. Mm -hmm. I did do one of his. Mm -hmm. And, uh, you know, one song by Joe. I did something by him. Mm -hmm. And, uh, you know, they were songs that I could really sing. I'm not going to go and sing something that I can't, my range ain't good with. So it was th something that I could perform. Okay. Yeah, okay. it was fun, too. Okay. So now um, I want to go back to talking about the um, songs, a couple of the songs that you wrote, because I know you, you, you promised to sing, perform a song this <laughs> evening. But yeah. Um, you also will be coming back to the show soon as well. Mm -hmm. But let's let's talk about the other song that you wrote. The other song is called My Angel. And that's, that was a song that uh, the guy co-wrote. Uh, the producer guy co-wrote. Oh, okay. That's yeah. the one. I thought it was the other one we were talking about. No, the other about. one okay. is all me. Oh, okay. The other one is all me. Okay. I wrote that song. Mm -hmm. But uh, the other one was co-wrote by him. Mm -hmm. And uh, I did 80% of it. I finished 80% of it. And it's a it's a it's a kind of a, a fast type of song. It's about my angel, you know. I'm, I'm trying to find her, and it's a nice song. It's real nice. It was actually one of the songs I was gonna make my single, but I got a couple of them that I was told you should make this your single, that's your single. But mm -hmm. I'm gonna pick one. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So, and I heard you earlier say that you've been staying in writing day and night. Mm -hmm. um, you know, that's a total change when it comes to really getting out there in the world with, from what I hear mm -hmm. from some of the people that I've interviewed. So do you think you, you, you ready for that? I mean, because I mean, you probably already get the, the look, <laughs> the way you look already. So, I mean, okay. I could just imagine, you, mm -hmm. you know, your stuff starting to really blow up. Yeah. Well, I, it's something that I love so much. Mm -hmm. I love it. It's a passion that I have, and I mean, I thank God for the good looks. I'm not a, I'm not an arrogant guy, but I'm positive. I'm a mm -hmm. positive guy, you know. Mm -hmm. And uh, you got to be positive doing doing this because if any weakness, I mean, the crowd is looking at you. They right. want to see the uh, showmanship. Mm -hmm. They want to see the the confidence. Mm -hmm. And you know, I just say, man, I can do this. You know. Yeah. So, so what your family think about my family, you? man? <laughs> <laughs> That's a, my mother came to see me. I performed at Mr. G's at a a competition, and her, my sister, brother, all of them came, and they just like they couldn't believe it. They was like, we thought you was playing. We didn't know mm -hmm. you could really sing. So, they are aware of it. You know, mm -hmm. they are they are aware of it. But basically, my my family, they 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 behind me one hundred percent, and they mm -hmm. always say, "When you make it, don't forget about us. Don't forget mm -hmm. them." You know what I'm saying? And I'm I'm gonna make it, so mm -hmm. I ain't gonna forget about them. Yeah, that's that's normally what I tell most of the entertainers. Mm -hmm. Don't forget about Queen, <laughs> <laughs> right? Especially right. when I I see the potentials and and you know, and I see it definitely in you. Thank you. Now I, now I want to ask you about. Um, because you know, once you get started with this singing, mm -hmm. people gonna come. And doors gonna open up for several other things, mm -hmm. especially from your look. I keep bringing up your look because you are a very attractive-looking young you. man. Thank you. Uh, what about modeling? What about acting? Have that crossed your mind yet? Well, it's funny <laughs> you should say that because uh, I filled out an entry form at River Oaks Mall. Mm -hmm. And I didn't expect them to call me, but they called. Mm -hmm. So I went down there, and it was it was fun. But I, modeling ain't really my thing. But mm -hmm. whatever exposure that I can get, I mean, I modeled. But I had 15 minutes of the, of a song that they wanted that I sung. Mm -hmm. So what song was that? I sung. I just it was it was. I, I have a song <laughs> that I just do. It's like let me hear you sound. How you sound song? It was mm -hmm. by Eric Benet. Oh, you're, so, you're so you did it without one. the music? Oh, yeah, I did it without the music. Oh, let's hear you. What you saying? I'm going back to the day we parted In all the ways you were broken hearted I take a trip every day in my mind mm -hmm. <laughs> I see your face, I recall every word It's playing back like a broken record I remember every tear in your eyes Welcome back to Full Circle, your source of entertainment this evening. And we have the one and only Eric. Speaking of Eric, <laughs> welcome back. Eric. Okay, thank you. Okay, 
I was talking about your name earlier before I get into your business. <laughs> I was talking about your name mm. earlier, and I said, Eric, and you said, yeah, Eric. I said, just Eric, and you said it's spelled a different way when I asked you about your show name. Mm -hmm. So let's talk a little bit about that and how was it spelled? Well, my name is spelled E-R-I-C, but my stage name is spelled E-R-I-C-K. Oh, yeah, it's that's just the difference. Eric, yeah. Mm-hmm. Okay. Mm -hmm. What what made you change it like that? And well, it, it looks it looks cooler, wrote out, spelt out. Oh, you know? yeah. With the K on the end. Yeah, the K is is like twirled around mm -hmm. and kind of fancied up a little mm -hmm. bit. So you ain't want nothing like like sexually chocolate. You know how nah. they had them. <laughs> you know. Nah. That ain't the type of... You know, you know how they hear them names of... <laughs> <laughs> nah, what, what's genuine and, and, you know, <laughs> Big Daddy and... You, you, yeah. know, you know what I'm talking about. I don't know. I'm just keeping it like me. You know, that's mm -hmm. how... I, that's me, you know. You just want to stay cool and laid yeah, back. Yeah, that's how I am. You, you, you appear to be yeah. a laid back person. Mm -hmm. Now, once again, I'm going to say this. And I... You know, you're very charming. Mm -hmm. Okay, you're very laid back. Mm -hmm. <laughs> <laughs> so, of course, I already know that you're the ladies' man, right? Mm -hmm. yes. So all I have to do is just hear your voice and then they, oh. Yes. <laughs> okay. So, so, are you in a relationship? I'm, I'm trying to get this information for my viewers because I know mm -hmm. a lot of the nice ladies are, are checking you. I say, oh, he fine. Mm -hmm. Yeah, yeah, so. <laughs> I'm I'm currently not in a relationship right now because I've been so with the music thing so much I've been so focused on that mm -hmm. that I've been just putting all my time into that but you know I am open for that right mm -hmm. now you know I'm mm -hmm. open for a relationship it's just that it's been so much stuff going on mm -hmm. right now with, with music and uh, this show uh, something that happened yesterday another mm -hmm. show yesterday and Writing. I'm going back in the studio Saturday mm -hmm. to record two more songs. So it's, 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 it's been going, it's been kind of wild. But if I can, you know, I mean, the, the Bible says that a man to find a wife finds a good thing. Oh, he went beyond the girlfriend thing. <laughs> yeah. He said, wife, all right. Yeah, I mean, I mean I'm not going to turn down love if it comes my way. Mm -hmm. Yeah. All right. So um, I hear a lot of artists say, um, yeah, I'm open, but I still want to be careful because they feel that that type of stuff seems to get in the way. Mm -hmm. If sometimes you can get in situations and people don't quite understand that right. you're doing this and you're doing that. Right. You know, I guess so. it can be kind of a distraction, but mm -hmm. if you were a woman that's, if she believes in me, Mm -hmm. And she know, and she says, "Okay, Eric, I know you're doing your thing, your music. That's your dream. Mm -hmm. You know, I'm gonna be beside you with that. That's that's good enough for me. And you know, as long as she understands, mm -hmm. you know, what comes with this, because it's been, it's been crazy. Yeah. So this. you hear that, ladies? You have to understand, <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> especially seeing he just started writing a month or so ago." <laughs> <laughs> You're going to have to give him some time. But all you yeah. have to do is just sing a tune. Right. Yeah. Right. And I, I love I love to serenade. I really do. Uh-oh. <laughs> yeah, I, I do. Because I meet, I meet a lot of women, and I ask them, I say, I have a guy ever sung to you? And a lot of them say no, you know. Mm -hmm. So music and singing really changes things. They put a smile. They yeah. put a smile on a woman's face, you know. Yeah. You see, you had me smiling. So, yeah. Even though I smile all the time. So. <laughs> Yeah. I can't use me because everybody say you smile all the time, <laughs> right. even when I'm mad. But right. I was smiling because right. I was I was hearing your voice. Right. Your voice sounds so. I so remember nice. this particular thing that happened. I never forget this. Mm -hmm. I was at work, and it was a little girl. She was like, you know, they said she hadn't talked in weeks. Wow. And when I walked in the room, and this is no lie, she raised up out the bed. And she was like, hello, she spoke to me. So I told her mom I could sing, and I sung a song to her. And it was so powerful for me to do that. That's the way I want to, uh, you know, want my music to affect. To, to affect and yeah. reach people. Yeah, I do. Yeah. yeah. You know, yeah, that's can, the way I want it to grow. I can see it mm -hmm. happening that way, too. Mm -hmm. that's, a, that's a blessing to... Yeah. Um, 
be able to touch people like that. Right. Mm -hmm. Right. So, so I, so from you saying that, that means you are definitely a people's person. Right. Yeah, I love people. Mm -hmm. I like to joke and laugh too. I got friends. I love. I just joke. Laughing is like mm -hmm. something that I love to do because I, you know, people look at me. You know, if you're a good-looking guy or a good-looking woman, mm -hmm. they think that you all closed exactly. in. And I exactly. mean, I love to laugh. I love to hang out with anybody. Mm -hmm. You know, and that's the way I'm gonna stay. Mm -hmm. As high as I get in this this business, that's the way I want to stay. Mm -hmm. You know, but but you do get that quite often. What? women just just walk up and say stuff. I mean, <laughs> exactly. and, and I exactly. mean, I love to laugh. I love to hang out with anybody. Mm -hmm. You know, and that's the way I'm gonna stay. Mm -hmm. As high as I get in this this business, that's the way I want to stay. You know. But but you do get that quite often. What? Women just just walk up and say stuff. I mean, <laughs> you know, women are cool, y'all. Women are real cool. They say stuff. I got a yeah. mama. I mean, I got a mama and two sisters, and mm -hmm. women are cool. They don't. We, they not like us. If they like a guy, they ain't gonna. I, I wouldn't even know. It's a lot of women. I don't even know that like me. There's sometimes somebody say, you know, such and such like I said, I didn't even know that. <laughs> you know, because you mm -hmm. don't show it or nothing. Mm -hmm. So, yeah, y'all y'all are real cool. I'm just kind of finding it hard to believe that you just that laid back. You mean to tell me, so do you go out? Yeah, Besides, I Besides, I mean, I know you're working now, but when you get a chance to maybe go clubbing. Um, I go, <laughs> I do the club thing if I'm invited out. Okay. You know, but I'm going to be honest with you, I don't want to be my woman in no club. You don't want to be with her in a club, wanna, or you don't want to meet her? I don't want to meet her. Oh, I, a, I totally agree with scene. you with that. I definitely wouldn't you know? want you to meet no woman in the club. Yeah, because if I got an event to go to and I'm singing at the event, that's one thing. But, you know, yeah. me and my boys, we go out, and I've been there and done that. I, don't, I got exactly. a different strategy about it now. Okay. Mm. Okay. So when your birthday? It was April 20th. Oh, you just had one. Yeah, you I just had one. I, I ain't got no shame. I made 45. I'm proud oh, of it. okay. See, and looking good. See, yeah. once again. So, <laughs> 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 again, let me, let me quit meddling with you. <laughs> uh, it's fine. I'm enjoying uh, it. <laughs> but, ladies, I got all the information. So, let's, let's talk about Do you have an email? Uh, if someone wants to um, call you for an event, because mm -hmm. you will, they can hire you to come out and sing like weddings and, and things of that nature, right? Right. Okay, so what, how would they contact you? It's uh, Eric Webster 44 at dot gmail dot com. Mm -hmm. And uh, my phone number and it's 773-707-4895. Uh, okay. And yeah. the email, again, the email is ericwebster44 at gmail.com. This evening, I want to introduce the one and only Eric, and that's with a K, when I look at you. <laughs> Get 
I see my life when I look at you. I always said that I would be that man, be that man, and do all I can. Baby, when I look into your eyes and I see I, I'm gonna be alright. There's nothing else I'd rather do to come home and be right there with you. There's something special coming over me, and I just have, have to tell you, baby, let me love you, baby, let me hold you, baby, let me see you, be with you, I need you, girl, let me touch you, let me show you how much. I wanna be when I look at you. I see my future. Look at you. I see my life when I look at you. I see my plan when I look at you. When I look at you, I see my future. Look at you. I see my plan. Right here on Full Circle with the Queen, only, only, when I look at you from Eric, and that's with a K, and he left his information earlier, so you all know that you can actually contact him if you have any special events, especially before we blow, blow all the way up. You're going to miss out. Better hurry up and catch up with him. But I love that song. I want to give it all to my Eric, and I want to thank him so much. And he'll be back on Full Circle very soon, so keep up with Queen.